almost hand-sized specimen from the Orange River uh, region. We're talking about the northern Cape of South Africa, so where the Orange River borders on um, uh, to Namibia or between South Africa and Namibia. As for deposit, I'm not quite sure of which deposit this guy came from. It's definitely not Warren, but in Namibia also could be fuels drift. What's what what comes to mind here? This is a honey yellow fluorite. And uh, I'll just uh, let's just have a look at the crystallization happening here. Quite, quite magnificent. And some of the terminations on the edges, there's almost like a little light shining from within. A little bit of perhaps calcium carbonates uh, coating that, or maybe a thin layer of chalcedony. The matrix there would be would be a quartz or a chalcedony. Um, but I just want to show you this crystallization. Size-wise, we're looking at a hand length, well, more than half a hand size. So pretty good size as well. Very impressive piece. The color is just quite magnificent. This this uh, uh, honey, dark honey yellow. Uh, very similar, actually like a rich citrine from the Congo. All the way, of course, from South Africa, uh, fluorite, fluorite on a matrix. Sometimes I find little pyrite cubes trapped inside these fluorites. Um, I'm not sure if there are any here. Oh, yes, and it's most likely not from Rimfoss Mark either. It is from one of the one of the digs around the Orange River bordering between South Africa and Namibia.